That would be a scary day if that just popped up out of the blue. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with myself. All right, so you guys already know I have my Tactrix cable, and so for today's video, we're gonna go ahead and flash on a base GST map for the rally art. So it'll give us a little bit more horsepower than stock. So if you guys do not know, the Tactrix cable enables you to do some tuning. What's up everybody, for today's video we're going to go ahead and install a Rallyart base uh, GST map. So all you're going to really need is your Tatrix cable, a laptop, and ECU flash. So for those of you who are unaware or you're newer to the platform, those who have been around for a while, you guys already know what a GST tune probably is. You've heard about it on forums, Rallyart Revolution, so have you. So they have a couple GST maps out there. They have the base map, and they also have a boost pill base map and then they also have a turbo back which will work for a cat back and beyond as long as you have a test pipe or high flow cat converter and then last but not least they have one for a boost pill turbo back and AEM intake so for a few people I've read online they say kind of stay away from the AEM tomb just because they're kind of all over the place so when I, get, when I get to that point, I'll probably go ahead and get a Pro Tune anyways. So what my goal today is, I'm going to go ahead and download the base map. We'll go ahead and do a 0 to 60 time, see what that clock's in at, because I've already done one with a stock car. Let's go ahead and do a 0 to 60 with the base uh, GST tune. But yeah, let's go ahead and head out to the car. I'll bring this handy dandy tool with me. I'll bring my laptop and I'll show you guys the software that we'll be using to conduct this base tune. So a few things before we get started. I am always the person I'm going to go ahead and give credit when credit is due. So the whole reason I'm able to actually do this today is because I watched a YouTube video. Fellow YouTuber uh, Trevor Plague. Plague. Sorry if I mispronounced your name dude. Um, I just want to say thank you because your videos did help me out a lot. But they did help me a lot as far as the ECU flashing goes and uh, the tactics. But there you go Trevor. Make sure you go ahead and give him a nice little subscribe. I'm pretty sure I was subscribed to him already, but regardless, <laughs> make sure you give him a good old subscribe. He's a fellow Rallyer donor, so share the love. All right, so over to my laptop. Here we are. We're at tactics.com. All you're going to do, go ahead and do is you're going to na go ahead and navigate to this download ECU flash. So if you come up here, go up to the downloads tab right there, and you should be able to find it. So there's a couple versions. There's right here for the Windows, and then down here. All I really did was downloaded this guy right here. But once you have ECU flash downloaded, this is what it's going to look like. All now, now all you really got to do is you're going to take your tactics cable, hook it up to your car, and hook up the other end to your laptop. Now if you're wondering where to connect it, you're not going to be going up in this box or anything. It's actually really accessible. It's right here. So you're going to go ahead and take your tactics. So you're going to go ahead and take your tactics cable basically with the serial number facing you, and it's gonna plug right into here. Just like so. All right, here's my cable for the attack tricks. All plugged in. Got a little beeping noise on my laptop, it reads it. And then if you look down here, you'll see that the attack tricks cable is actually changing colors. So, at least I know it works. So back over to the laptop, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come up over here to the top. You're going to click ECU. You're going to select vehicle type. And here as you can see, thanks to Trevor again, we're going to go ahead and click EVO 10. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and select that car. Okay, now after the vehicle has been selected, you're going to come up here to this third button from the left. You're going to click on this, read from ECU flash memory. What that's going to do right now is you're going to go ahead and read your stock tune and we're going to be going ahead and saving that. So you get a little pop-up warning basically telling you to make sure your ignition is already on, which it is, which it is, it's on the on position. So now all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push OK. So the vehicle fans are turning on, all these lights are to be expected. Let's go ahead and read everything that's going on in the car right now. So. Don't freak out too much. As you can see right there, it's reading the memory, so just go ahead and uh, hang tight and let that finish downloading. That would be a scary day if that just popped up out of the blue. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with myself. 
Okay, we just wrapped up the download. So the operation completed successfully. If you're done with the ECU, turn off the ignition. So we're not done with this yet, so we're just gonna hit OK. So this part actually wasn't in Trevor's video, so this popped up right as soon as it got done downloading. So it gives you three options that you can do. You can abort using the ROM image with no chance of saving. Continue using this ROM image with no definition. No editing or viewing, but saveable. And the last one just plain out says not recommended. So we're gonna go ahead with continue with this ROM image. That way we can save it. So let's go ahead and hit next. And here is the stock tune right there. Okay, now that is all loaded, we're gonna come up here to the top, right there, and we're gonna save the ROM. I forgot to tell you, on EVO 10 forums, if you just look up uh, GST Maps Database V3, you'll get this little program board right here. It'll give you all the different years of the rally arts, whether it's the stock rally art, boost pill upgrade, boost pill and turbo back, and the AEM. So we're going to go ahead and shift down to your year. So I have a 2015, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this 2012. And I'm going to click on the 93 octane stock pill. So let's go ahead and try this one. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Keep in mind, you probably should do this prior to uh, starting this on your car. And you're going to go ahead and drag that file over to here. So here we go, the 12, 2012 Relic base map. So there we go. So as you can see, you can click between both of them. So there is your base map. Okay, with the car still on, and the map that you want is uploaded up here in the top left-hand corner. So in our case right now, for the purpose of this video, we're using the 2012 Rally Art base map. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure that's selected. As you can see, you can select different maps, but you wanna make sure the one that you want is selected. You're gonna come over here to this third icon, this little red one, where it says, go ahead and uh, Load your current R current ROM, current ROM, where it basically tells you to load your current ROM. You're gonna go ahead and click that. It's basically gonna give you that pop-up warning again to make sure that your car is on. So that is verified already. Hit OK. And here we go. Same process. Fans turn it on, and the car is acting wacko. But there you go. Flash in memory. I tell you what, for somebody who's never done this type of stuff before, this is pretty nerve-wracking. Um, you can totally mess up your car if you don't really know what you're doing, so... But, looks like it's going smoothly so far. I'm just kind of excited to see what kind of differences this single base map is going to do to the car. But if I'm being honest with you guys, I was actually trying to do the boost pill upgrade. It was supposed to be here today, but thank you UPS, it did not get delivered today, so... I decided I'm going to make a video doing the base map and then, and then later on I'll go ahead and do the boost pill map just to get a little difference for you guys because I know a lot of people instantly go to the boost pill like I was planning on doing so if you guys just have a stock rally art and don't want any performance upgrades this might be something you want to do and uh, look forward to uh, seeing what power gains we can get. But in the meantime, operation is complete. If you are done with your ECU, turn off the ignition. I think we're just going to hit OK again. And uh, here we go, we should be flashed. So once you have hit OK, it's pretty much safe to say we're done with the ECU. So we're gonna go ahead and clear out all these faults up here. And in order to do that, thanks again Trevor once again, you come up here to ECU. And you're gonna come over down here to clear DTCs. Hit OK gonna run through whatever it needs to do clearing DTCs and don't worry the extra little beeping you guys hear isn't in the car it's actually our water heater gotta change out some filters or whatever else on there but here we go uh, operation complete successfully if you're done with your ECU turn off the ignition so it wrapped up doing what it was doing I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car wait a couple seconds cross your fingers and you turn it back on and hopefully everything goes away which it did all right looks like we are in business 
So since the codes are now gone, we can close the good old laptop, come on down, pull out our tactics cable, and go ahead and take it for a spin. I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm kind of excited. Not expecting anything crazy just because it's the base map, but it's still going to be something. All right, there's our drag race. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Right off the bat, I can tell you that was a stronger pull than uh, my last recording. So we're gonna go ahead and save that run as GST Base 1. Go ahead and save that. GST Base 1. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll, see what our zero to 60 was. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is 5.3 seconds. So, just for a news flash, I did this earlier today. Super Sport engaged, all that stuff. And uh, I had a 5.9. And I was averaging about 5.8. So, there you go, there you have it. That proves that the base map is actually a little bit faster. Imagine that, so if you guys want a tune on your car, that is a nice, easy way to do that. All right, we made it back home and safe to show you guys the app that I was using. Here it is. But like I already mentioned, that isn't 100% accurate, but that is a good baseline to go ahead and gauge everything. But yeah, as soon as I get my boost pill in, I'm gonna go ahead and do the boost pill map, uh, the GST boost pill map. And I'm going to go ahead and do another 0-60 to 60 run, log it here on the drag racer, and compare it between bone stock, GST base, and then the GST boost pill. And we'll compare all three of those and uh, see what kind of power we can get. Or at least see how, see how fast or quick this car can be with the GST tune. And one more thing to add, all these maps are free. So I'll go ahead and lay down in the description below the link to Tactrix, where you can go ahead and get the ECU flash, which is the program you need to flash it onto the car. And then I'll also lay down the link to where you can get all the maps off the EVO 10 uh, forum. So other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching. Trevor again, thanks a lot. You're a big help. And uh, like I said, give credit when credit's due. So, so go ahead, make sure you guys follow his channel as well. And with that being said, I just want to say thanks for watching. Never live your life on auto, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.